Hello, guys. This is your report on Hurricane Michael. Uh, as it steams toward the Florida Panhandle, let's open the charts right here, and let's take a look at this. Uh, this is Hurricane Michael, and this is the current information from the National Hurricane Center. Uh, 24.5 degrees north, 86.1 degrees west. Maximum sustained winds, 100 miles an hour. This is intensified rather quickly overnight. Maximum movement is to the north-northwest at 12 miles an hour. That's a fairly fast hurricane move forward movement speed. Uh, now, this hurricane is going to develop probably into a Category 3 uh, so it's going to be a very intense storm. It's going to slam into the Florida Panhandle, it looks like. Uh, here's the charts. Now, uh, this is the tropical storm wind force speed charts. Uh, and here we go. Here's the hurricane force wind speeds. So see, mostly the hurricane force wind speeds. It's just this little red area right there where the, it touches the Florida Panhandle. Uh, now here's a satellite imagery of the form of the storm and we can see the eye developing as it moves out over the coast of Cuba into the open waters of the Gulf of Mexico. Now the Gulf of Mexico is very, very hot this time of year. The waters are very hot and this feeds hurricanes. This will help the hurricane to intensify as it moves toward the Florida panhandle. Now, I'm going to show you uh, the intensity charts that they're expecting. Uh, they're expecting it to move from a Category 1 to a Category 2 to a Category 3 uh, as it moves toward the Florida Panhandle and it makes landfall uh, somewhere up around uh, the, the middle of the Florida Panhandle there. Uh, what cities are in that region? I think Tallahassee is up and around that area. Uh, here as we see the storm's development and radar, and this is an all-important chart right here. This shows the computer modeling. Now this is the guidance that the National Hurricane Center uses. It's also the guidance that I use to try to figure out where the hurricane is going. Uh, they run com successive computer models, and then they try to take the center of the computer model guidance. Uh, we can see the center of the computer model guidance takes it right up on the Florida panhandle, and uh, there it makes landfall. And so it's not too many days from now, if you're in that area uh, where in the Florida panhandle there, you probably want to start hurricane preparations, which would include uh, getting some flashlight batteries for yourself, flashlights, possibly boarding up uh, if you've got large windows, especially... Uh, great big like picture glass windows you would probably want to think about covering those up uh, because they can shatter uh, things like that especially if you're close really close to the uh, area where the hurricane is going to make landfall if you're not very far from the ocean if you're within say uh, within 10 miles of the ocean and you've got large picture windows in that area, you probably want to board them up. You probably want to get some bottled water for yourself. Uh, you probably want to get have an emergency medical kit for yourself. Uh, and if they make rep recommendations for you to evacuate the area, you want to uh, uh, listen to what the, uh, uh, what the experts have and, and do what they tell you to do. You know, if, if the police come and tell you you need to leave the area, you want to respond to the police and do exactly what they tell you to do in, in this case. And so uh, what we see here is the pressures of the hurricane. We see them dropping very quickly. Uh, in the last report, it was 9 point, uh, 973 millibars. Uh, now it's 968. That's a bad sign, the fact that the pressure's dropping very rapidly. So listen, stay tuned. We'll have more updates on this hurricane coming up as, uh, as it progresses and moves toward the Florida panhandle. Bye-bye, guys.